Now, many of you, you will know very well that uh, NEO has its own in-house uh, developed autonomous driving chip called the Shenji NX9031 chip, which is the chip that they are using on their latest 2025 models. I mean, the first model to use that chip was the, uh, the ET9. Then we followed by the e ET5 Touring, ET5 Mid-Sedan, ES6 and EC6. Five of the newer models are currently using the Shenji Autonomous Driving Chip, which is the in-house developed chip by NEO, which you know that it has got a computing power of around 1,000 or of over 1,000, which is what makes it to be so special. There is not a chip or autonomous driving chip that is as powerful right now like this one of NEO. Yes, NVIDIA has got the, the Thor X, which... Apparently, I don't. It's it, it's not yet, or it, it has not. It is not yet available, but it has got a computing power similar to that of Neo Shenji NX9031. Now, the reason why I'm giving you this background is obviously because there is, of course, uh, some news or some article, some table that we have seen showing how powerful the Neo chip is uh, that is being fitted on the 2025 Neo models. I mean, on the left-hand side, you will know that these are the chips that support level 3 autonomous driving, right? And on that left-hand side, you've got the Shinji Neo Shinji NX9031 chip, which is the self-developed in-house chip by Neo. You've got the uh, autonomous driving chip by XPen, which is going to be used on the G7, or that is currently being used on the XPen G7 with... Uh, uh, 700 computing power and you've got tesla um hw4 chip that is being used it has got a 720 uh, computing power these are the chips that right now in the market are supporting level 3 of autonomous driving and my dear friends with neo you will notice that it is the one that is at the top or leading the all the other uh, ev cars in terms of this autonomous driving chip terms of the computing power which is something that is great something that is very exciting because you will know that we have got 1000 tops of computing power from the Shinji which is actually more I think it's 1016 computing power of the Shinji NX9031 chip from from Neo then XPeng has got 700 the Tesla one has got 720 now on the right hand side you have got then the other chips right the autonomous uh, driving other chips. I think probably this support level 2 or most of these chips rather support level 2. To those that still don't know of course this kind of levels. Level 3 it's not yet full autonomous driving but it's just a level before we get to full autonomous driving. Full autonomous driving comes at level 4. When these car makers reach level 4 that is full autonomous driving and this it is for this reason that I tell you that of course, Neo is going to be one of the very first few cars to reach or to get to autonomous driving because already the chip that they have, its computing power is so massive in a way that I think it will be the one that might take them to level 4. But anyways, let's wait. Let's see what transpires. But most cars that you see performing autonomous driving, they are still on level 2. Our very own Onvo, it's still at level 2, right? Level 3, it's not many cars that have reached that stage yet. But NEO has reached that stage with their change or with this chip, in-house developed chip that they've produced and they are using on the five cars already that I've counted for you. So on the left-hand side, you've got NVIDIA Thor X. Now with NVIDIA Thor X, apparently this one has not been, or it's not yet being utilized uh, by most cars or not being utilized at all. But then you, you've got NVIDIA uh, Thor U. This one is being utilized by your YU7, right? It has got 700 uh, uh, computing power tops, but YU7 is not yet at level 3 of autonomous driving. It's still at, at, at level 2. You've got the J6P, you've got the Huawei MDC, you see the, the, the 400 tops of computing power. J6P, it's 560 uh, uh, computing power. Then you've got the Xiaomi Orin X chips, these are the chips that Neo was using in their previous versions of their car, which they were using, uh, uh, which of course, the computing power of the Shenji is equivalent to 
of course four of these Orin X chips and knowing that these are the chips that Neo was using in the previous version you can try now to understand the the, the, the output or the performance of the new autonomous chip by Neo Shenji NX9031 which again it shows you that it's just so crazy man otherwise you have got the 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 the, 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 the MDC 510 Pro this is the lowest performing chip with 96 uh, 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 computing power tops these are the other chips that are the most of the vehicles or most of the EV cars are currently using on the left hand side but again the, the most of the cars on the right hand side they are still on level 2 there it's not many car companies that have reached level 3 um, and therefore it means that Neo, Xpeng and Tesla are the car companies that could hit full autonomous driving first before other cars because they are already ahead in terms of autonomous driving features that are found onto their cars which is something that is great something that is exciting and it makes me to look forward to what we are going to see in the future i mean autonomous driving is very very important onto an ev car or onto any car because look man it also comes with other features like um, emergency steering uh, emergency braking system and all of that and knowing that Neo has been showing us videos or even real life videos from the users where the users are being protected by the by these kind of features something that is just so great man I will say it again Neo is not yet on full autonomous driving but there are users that are of course driving kilometers or multiple kilometers on the road using the new autonomous driving feature called the Neo World Model, which there is a user that has claimed that they've driven over 200 kilometers without really controlling the car using Neo World Model feature, right? Which is absolutely great. Tesla has also started uh, delivering. I think the cars, the cars of Tesla's or Model Ys have started delivering themselves to their customers without no driver, which obviously, again, this shows you that these car companies are really pushing. At the, at the Xpeng G7, I've not really seen it in, in, in life, but I suppose this new chip of theirs, it's so good in a way that probably uh, I know they talk or they have spoken about that they are on level 3, but in terms of the videos, I've not really seen the video, so I cannot comment much on that. But Tesla, I think we have seen. Neo, we have seen. I mean, for the, for the, after Neo cars are being produced, we have seen them take, driving themselves out to, of course, from the Neo factory to a parking bay um, and park themselves, um, which is something that is just so great, man. So, and all that, it's not yet full autonomous driving. It's still preparing. It's getting there. But I think in the next year or two, we should be at level four. We should see our very own Neo at level four. So... This is something that is great and I thought I'd come and give it to you. Neo is doing the most, guys. This, once again, a video is just a reminder showing you that Neo is doing the most and those that are persevering are going to be rewarded with time. Like this video, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that at least you can be notified by YouTube every time I drop a new content. I will see you on the next one. That is all from me and God bless you all.